At geopolitical events, the increase in emerging market currency trading and market infrastructure changes, such as settlement just one day after execution in the North American securities markets, known as T plus one, mean the need to mitigate risk in the FX market has never been greater. Yeah, that's right. Driven by initiatives such as the G20 cross-border roadmap and the FX global code, policymakers in the FX industry remain focused on mitigating settlement risk through increasing adoption of payment versus payment, that's PVP, of course, mechanisms. We spoke earlier to Mark Bale de Jesse, CEO of CLS, and began by asking him how CLS is addressing this. Yeah, so CLS first uh, is servicing uh, the FX market by providing very secure and resilient services uh, based on uh, payment versus payment to eliminate principal risk from settlement of FX transactions. All those reforms which are taking place are there also to uh, make more efficient cross-border exchanges of currencies and activity between the economies. And CLS is trying to develop its services to answer uh, all those challenges. So we analyze what our uh, settlement member challenges are. We look at the development in the market and try to adapt and contribute to those evolutions. So we do contribute to the work of the authorities. We do look after uh, the T plus one reform and how it affects uh, the FX market settlement processes. And with this in mind, we try to continue adapting our services to uh, the need of the market. So a lot of alert, a lot of innovation being done through our system, increasing our resilience to a ever greater level. So really CLS being there as a milestone, as a backbone of the FX settlement market. Mark, what do you think is necessary to expand settlement risk mitigation? Well, uh, we have to look and understand uh, what are the emerging risks in settlement that we can see. Making stronger our settlement service is very important. The volumes we are settling, the activity in the market due to the macroeconomic changes to geopolitical challenges, make that there is a lot of trading activity on many currencies. And those are uh, carrying settlement risks that we mitigate through our services. So being able to understand those challenges and being able to adapt is very important. We see two, three, four uh, type of uh, uh, challenges ahead of us and ahead of the market. The reduction of settlement cycles, the acceleration of settlement is one of them. The development of uh, emerging market currencies, which are becoming uh, very important and uh, which are challenged through geopolitical uh, context in which uh, the world is today. Uh, the evolution of uh, same-day activity and the pressure to have intraday trades being settled uh, are as much trends as we can see which are developing currently and where we need to uh, find uh, answers to challenges. Uh, we need to make all those processes as smooth as possible in a resilient context which can resist to uh, uh, all shocks, uh, should they be economic or should they be uh, also uh, operational with uh, cyber threat in particular on the race. It is very important for us to continue to be focused and deliver a very strong service, evolving it towards where it is uh, evolving uh, and where the challenges are. So what role do market infrastructures play in mitigating settlement risk? Well, very simply, uh, being a backbone of the market, you have to be extremely safe, uh, very uh, systematic in the way you organize yourself, in the way you organize your resilience, and in the way you uh, uh, develop technology, adapt uh, your systems to the challenges you see around you. So interaction with the ecosystem, understanding the direction of the ecosystem, understanding the evolution of uh, the uh, macroeconomic context in which those markets are evolving is very important for us. A lot of analysis, a lot of engagement, but also investments in our resilience and in our capacity to deliver every day our services. Uh, so very important to be there. Uh, just as an image, uh, the investments we are making on our system are there to uh, safeguard all the activity we set up every day. Uh, currently, we set up every day 7 trillion US dollar equivalent of value every day, just with the 18 currency we have. This represents basically uh, more than the GDP of a country like the UK, uh, every day, uh, the year GDP. So we are really here uh, a situation where we need to be very clear and very systematic in our organization. And CLS is bringing this uh, stability to the market. 
Are there any other priorities that CLS has to help the industry really address this changing marketplace? Yes, uh, so beyond being strong on our core service, our 18 currencies that I was mentioning, uh, those emerging markets are coming in. So we are trying to bring additional solutions to bring innovation also in this space. We have developed a service which we call CLSnet, which provides for bilateral netting capacities calculation, completely straight through processed, uh, so mitigating operational risk in the processing allowing stressful processing, uh, uh, lowering the cost of interacting in this market, and bringing, uh, therefore, a, a stronger capacity there. It does not fully mitigate settlement risk, but it helps uh, very much. And complementing this by additional services in the future, as we see the challenges evolving, will be very important and key for the future. So really focusing on those currencies which cannot integrate the settlement service at this stage, but being able still to reinforce this. So CLS works in all directions. We develop our services, we interact with our ecosystem, uh, getting understanding of what it means, but also we are uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, challenges out there, how much uh, the authorities are looking at it. So we collaborate with the CPMI, uh, with uh, uh, the uh, Global Code of Conduct uh, review process, uh, with the different central banks uh, which are active there, being able to support them, to innovate with them, and uh, uh, move on the uh, reduction of settlement risk in all directions, not only by PVP, but also all sorts of uh, mechanism which help you to bring down the risks. Mark Bale, the Justice CEO of CLS, thank you so much for joining us on Cybos TV. Thank you.